the Lord is talking about some people right now that are listening to me. The Lord is saying that a lot of people does not have understanding. The Lord said, I will give so many who claims they have understanding, but I will give them my word and I will give them my understanding. That's what the Lord is talking about. There are so many ladies listening to me. The Lord is talking about ladies. It has to do with understanding, 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 understanding. The Lord said, I am dropping the spirit of understanding 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 in the life of so many ladies understanding thank you jesus what is this understanding it looks like the lord is showing me so many so many things i, I see so many relationships that are that are crashing and the lord is showing me more relationship is about to crash in the month of october so the lord is saying open up your heart for the understanding to come in between you and your fiance, between you and your wife, between you and your husband. I decree for the Spirit of God to put in the spirit of understanding, understanding, understand. I just heard it clearly the Lord said, Pray for my people, for understanding is far, for understanding it is far, it is far. The Lord said, Pray for my people, for the spirit of understanding, for the spirit of understanding. The Lord said, Pray more for the ladies, for the spirit of understanding. The understanding understanding the Lord is showing me is about the situation on ground. It's a, it's a situation on ground that it, it, it's a situation on ground that, that, that the ladies are not understanding the men they are married to. That they feel things are becoming so strange all of a sudden. The Lord said, pray for them. Pray for understanding. I'm seeing divorce in the month of October. That's what I'm seeing blessings of house and car. I'm seeing also divorce because the Lord is saying understanding. Understanding is far from us. Understanding is far from my people. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. In the place of spirituality, there shall be understanding. The Lord is saying, Pray for my people, for the spirit of understanding, for the spirit of listening. So many youths don't want to listen, they only want to talk. Thank you, Father. So the Lord is saying, Let's pray for understanding 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 it looks common to you but the word understanding has broke a lot of homes the word understanding has broken a lot of issues so the lord is saying i am visiting my people with the spirit of understanding where we can understand ourselves in the place of relationship in the place of business in the place of in the place of family in the place the circles where you are the environment the lord said i will give you understanding and look at how the understanding again looks for the last time i'm explaining it it is the understanding how your relationship is. How do you see people close to you? Managing the people close to you. Knowing that this is the point where both of you get it wrong. That you can always overcome, overlook. That is the word understanding. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Understanding that this person have this issue, but I still want this person who will overcome. You understand the problem that is going on in the relationship, in the marriage. That is understanding. Are you understanding what I'm saying? If you don't have the spirit of understanding, you will walk away from relationship that would have been a blessing to your generation. And I began to pray. I said, Lord, give me back those relationships 
that were to bless my life. And God began to bring back the stubborn people. God began to bring rebellious people. I began to understand that I must grow in the place of understanding people are not the same. We came from different backgrounds. So the Lord said, I'm giving wisdom and understanding now. I heard wisdom for direction, wisdom for direction. In the name of Jesus, mighty name, we we'll pray. And in my vision on Friday, on, on the birthday, on my birthday, and the Lord told me, He said, The people you expect to celebrate you will not celebrate you. The people you have bought cake for, the people you have bought wine for, the people you have taken to the lounge and celebrated, they will not be there for you. So, my son, do not feel bad. The people you called by 12 a.m. to say, I'm the first person who called you to say happy birthday. The Lord said, they will not be there for you. I felt hot, but I was aware of it. And later, when it began to come from the people I do not know, that is when I began to believe that the, what the Lord is saying. And I began to see the spirit of this understanding issue, misunderstanding everywhere. That's the part I saw. Then the third part I saw on that Friday, Friday, which was my birthday, I saw the angels of chariot. And I saw them coming down on earth. And I began to look and I said, whoa, 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 whoa. And the Lord said, I have come. One of my son is waiting for me at the junction. And I said, Lord, what do you mean? He said, you know what I'm talking about. So I saw this chariot. They were coming with a flame of fire. And, and, and it was coming. And, and it, it was coming down, coming down. Not so fast, not so slow. But this, this, this chariot is coming down. A lot of angels on these chariots. And with a horn. Is it a horn? A trumpet that was blowing, and there is a. I saw, I saw, I saw what they call the rainbow. I saw the rainbow, and the rainbow came, and the rainbow came, and 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 it was still coming. And I said, Lord, who is this person that you have come to peak? And the Lord began to show me so many youths. I began, I began to see. I began to see so many youths, so many youths. These youths were there watching, and the man came from the back. And the Lord came, and the man, sorry, the man came from the back, followed by the angels, one of the chariots. And, and, and they, they drove him from the back, and he came out. And they opened the door of the chariot. And he turned his back. And he waved his hand slowly to the people of Nigeria. And I said, Lord, I thought you said you have given this man more extension. And the Lord said, no. I have to take him. He has submitted his crow, which you have spoken for so many times. And I saw this man join the chariot and it was closed and when he was about to leave in that vision I was standing it looks like a rope like a white rope that fell and I stretched my hand and I took that white rope and and I tied it on my waist so very tight and when I tied it in that vision, I was electrocuted. And I began to look at my hand. It looks like a thundering light. And I began to look at my hand. It becomes like a wind. And the Lord said, look forward. While I was looking, I saw other youths begin to tap something from this man that was leaving. And so many things fell out from him. The people that was able to pick out something that was about that is falling 
from the chariot. The Lord said, those are the people who have an open heart towards my kingdom, towards my people, towards my blessing and towards my expansion. And I found that some people were also wearing helmet. Some people were wearing shoes. Some people were wearing clothes. Some people were just wearing so many things because as this man of God was inside the chariot, as he was leaving his body, the clothes he was wearing was pulling out. So when it looks like they were burning and when they were born and falling, some of the clothes became very big to fit in to the ones that was looking up to him. Thank you, Father. And, and I picked the rope. And it looks like a staff. But when I looked at it very well, it was a Bible I was holding. And I turned to the people. And I said, let us go. So many people will not know the meaning of that dream, which is revelation. And that's what the Lord said. He said, and the man will go through his chariot. And in the next few weeks, little of the moons this man will be in the chariot and he will leave the nation Nigeria that wasn't the end while the chariot was leaving I saw another chariot coming back and I was like oh Lord but it's the same that has left why the same coming back and the Lord said no they are different chariots he said there are chariots in heaven not one and I saw another one coming and this one that was coming looks very very big it was bigger than the one that left and the Lord said this is the weight of my servant and while we were there waiting for the next person the person walked from behind and that one was smiling he was touching the face of people. He was touching the face of people. He was touching people. He was touching people. And that one, well, while he was leaving, and I saw birds, white birds, white birds, perching on everyone's head. They were just touching on people. And the Lord said, my spirit is upon the youth. And it was moving so fast. The birds were just hanging on people's shoulders, on people's head, and he went. For him to get to the chariot, the door wasn't open. He was able to be lifted, and he entered into the chariot, not by the door. The chariot doesn't have door. He just flew the air. The wind picked him up, and he sat, and there is a cloud all over his head, a very white cloud that is full of whiteness. And he began to move up, and his clothes were not burning. This one, his clothes became a very big cloud over the nation of Nigeria. And the Lord said, this one will cover his kingdom. And while he was still going, and I saw what I call the dark cloud, the atmosphere changed for those people who were so much happy seeing him going and touching them being being impacted by him and and i saw those people under the cloud so even the christians the born again who were in another area and they were like saying oh let him go church business is closed no more church business the church will be shut down and I saw darkness, and I saw darkness upon those youth, and those darkness was, was upon the youth, and the rain was falling. Whosoever this rain touches on its head, and it fell on its face so much, the person falls down and dies. They, they, they keep falling and dying, they keep falling and dying. And I asked the Lord, why will all this happen? He said, I am trying to divide my people and the general people what could this mean put your mouth where your strength is that's what the lord is saying do not put your mouth against the kingdom that you've never studied the word of god for and that's what the lord showed me and he said my son the second man greater will go second why the other we go first and all this will happen right here 
in Nigeria in the next few weeks to to months. That's what the Lord is saying. And the Lord is saying, I will shake the body, the body of Christ. And while I will shake them, he said, this cloud will clean a lot of doubt, the fear into people's life for them to run back to God, the fear into the souls that are not believing God, they will run back to God. So the Lord said, Nigeria, prepare for I am coming to take what belongs to me. It is your time to believe. It is your time to step up. The Lord said, it is your time to have love. It is your time to love one another. It is your time not to reject people, but accepting people. And the Lord said, tell your people to be there when people are crying not when people are celebrating that we are living a life as a gold digger where we want to celebrate with people we never suffered with why we want to enjoy with people we never knew that story the lord said tell them that they should come unto him have his love for the people who are crying now not when they are celebrating and the lord said please let us be together forever that his anointing will increase in the nation and the lord began to show me some sudden things and things that looks like they were high they were they, they were they were like dropped a little bit things began to drop a little bit things began to drop a little bit the economy began to be better the economy began to be better and the lord said i will bless my nation no matter who is ruling, I will bless my nation. Thank you, mighty Father. So the visitation of the youth has come, and also the Prince of Persia has also come. If you remember in the month of August, I told you after September, a lot of youth would die. A lot of youth, I talked about politicians, I talk about musicians, I talk about artists and actresses, and I talk about a whole lot of famous people, local people, are all going to die after September, if you can remember. So this vision was what is going to separate the youth, the belief and the unbelief. That's what the Lord is talking about. Thank you, mighty Father. We'll give you praise, we'll magnify your name. In the name of Jesus, to you alone is highly exalted, to you alone is magnified. We exalt your name. You are the King of Kings. There are few people the Lord said, I will clear the depth. I will clear the depth in the month of October. The Lord is saying, I will clear the depth in the month of October. I don't know which debt he's talking about. Is it the debt that you are owing financially? Is it the debt you are owing in the place of vow? The Lord is saying he is clearing the debt. I heard it. He said in the month of October, I am clearing the debt. I am clearing the debt. I'm clearing the debt. I see a lot of debt, a lot of debt in the kingdom of God. I see a lot of debt people are owing. People are owing a lot of borrower yes you have borrowed I see a lot of people like about 70 people here listening to me the Lord said I am clearing your debt I am clearing your debt that's what the Lord is saying I am clearing your debt a lot of debt are being paid favor when the Lord said when they give you this money pay to who you are owing that's what the Lord is saying he said I am clearing your debt a lot of debt are out there that the Lord is clearing. Debt, your mother's debt, your father's debt, your debt, your cousins, your family, your uncles, every debt in your family. The Lord said, I am clearing all your debt in the month of October. And the Lord said, please, we should pray for the remaining months, which is three months to go for 2023 to be the end so the lord said the debt is high that he will clear the debt 
the debt is high that he will clear the debt that the debt is high that he will clear your debt and i began to see a vision and the lord began to show me a, a vision and i saw the nose mask i saw nose mask i begin to see nose masks back to different countries i see i see nose masks in different country i see nose mask in different country why this nose mask and the lord said can you forget what happened in 2019 to 2020 and i said lord i can remember the covid the lord said a similarity is coming back it is the same as covid but this one will carry a different shape and i don't know how it's going to happen i don't care how it's going to happen but the lord said i will preserve my own and there are going to be a lot of restriction in so many nations again i don't know when it's going to happen but i see this thing going to reflect down to 2024 and beyond if it's 2024 it's well if it's not 2024 it's well let us pray because the nose mask i'm seeing nose back nose mask coming back again uh, could it be the USA could it be Africa could it be anyway the european nation but i saw nose mask everybody started wearing nose mask again but the lord said i will protect my own 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 and in a vision that i have and the lord is revealing unto me in a staircase i put up in the lift and i went and i saw the 24 elders in heaven and they were sitting down there and they said my son you are welcome happy birthday and i was able to bow with my knees and i sat in the second row and in the vision because i normally i used to stay in the last row So every time I get promoted the Lord shift me close to the first row. So I was in the second row and I was seeing the 24 elders in the first row because I was in the second row. And in the second row I was in the youth area between the youth and the elders. I was in between. There was a there was a little imaginary line. So I was in the middle and I saw a vision where the lord brought down a tv and said see my son we want to show you something and i said lord speak your son hear it and i began to see biden sat down on the seat and trump was looking at him and he sat down and he was looking at trump and i began to see people gathering and stoning biden and they were saying we reject you we reject you and in that same vision I saw people signing documents and they were signing documents to impeach Biden. So they are trying to impeach Biden. They're going to impeach Biden. And when they were impeaching Biden, the Lord said, "I will now reserve and preserve the life of Obama and the life of his family for a certain period of time before the Lord will take one of him. Is it a him?" his wife but the lord said i will preserve him for a purpose to see that my kingdom in the united states of america will be established for his plan against me will not stand that that's the vision and i saw and i saw trump being pulled out from all the cases he had and why biden stood up and i saw in a vision where they began to carry trump to the seat and i was caught up in that vision and i came back and the lord is saying prepare for restriction that is coming back to the nation so i don't know how it's going to come i don't know when it's going to come could this be before the american election would this be when trump will come back to power that's not the end and in the vision and I came back and the Lord showed me again he said come and I went into Africa I'm not going to mention the nations but I began to see an issue that have to look like a sickness eating the hands in Africa I see people hands becoming like a hole 
it's not getting deep like a hole it's a sickness but i tried to ask the lord what could this be the lord said it will come with a strange name is it going to look like ebola i don't know but these hands begin to eat these hands begin to eat up these hands begin to eat and they were they were thinking it's a normal treatment they began to create big holes on people's body is a nation not in nigeria it's going to happen in africa i'm not going to call the specific nation for me not to put fear into them so the lord is saying that we should pray in africa and in the same vision and i began to see how the lord thank you father and the lord began to show me a man who covered his face wearing black with a long dreadlocks and he came down from the sky and he opened a bottle an Asian bottle and he poured that stuff in the water and the Lord said your waters will be poisoned so let us pray concerning waters being poison from where and why would they want to poison a nation's water for them to drink and die and let us pray concerning that a lot of people are going to be asking is it that it is only the bad prophecy he gives the lord say it is better you hear the bad so that you can pray to stop it than you hear the good and the bad comes to strike it so let us pray concerning that are you understanding what i'm saying thank you mighty father we give you praise in the name of jesus mighty name we pray and the lord is still talking about the case between tinibu and peter will be in the the greatest court could it be the supreme court and the lord said tell him to be aware that tinibu will still win in the place of the high court that is what the lord is saying he said do not put your effort will be I have not considered you yet for my own reason will stand not for the youth not for the people but for my kingdom's sake I will preserve you until my time will come for you that's what the lord is talking about so and I saw this vision in the court and I saw Tinibu he came out with a victory flag and he said I did it again and, and 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 he said i did it again that that was what i saw in in that vision and i began to wonder why will god still allow the presidents to win again the lord said it is my will for now that's what the lord is saying and for the same people for the same nation for the same tribe who said peter obi should come to power we all love we are all nigerians we're all together but in the vision in 2027 the lord is saying if we are still not careful he will win his second term as the president that is what the lord is saying if we are not together if we are not together listen if we are not together if we don't love one another if we don't protect one another the lord said in 2027 tinibu will still rule you your division will not bring the hand of god but our togetherness can bring the hand of god you're insulting the pastor because he said this man is the one God is keeping because you are angry you are emotional so you insult him thinking you are going to go scot-free you will not go scot-free because we are no more in the indispensable what they call it sorry said um, how do they put it we are no longer in the dispensation of grace we are now in the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. When you are conscious of the Holy Spirit, that's when you live. If you're not conscious of God, you will die. That is what is happening with so many people who are not conscious of the Holy Spirit in them. That's why they die. If you want to stay long, be conscious of God in you. That is one of the key to stay alive. That's what the Lord is showing me right away the lord is saying if we do not come together to pray to love each other to be for one another he said in 2027 tenable will still rule 
as the president. He said, I did it for unity to stand because I remember last year the Lord said division will bring him to power. But if we're united together, he will not be in power. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. If you like, you can go back and insult me. If you like, you can go back and abuse me because you have no life. That is why you can insult other people's life. I'm only a messenger. And if you know you are also a messenger, give your own on your page and say, if you ever see me there to comment nonsense, Please do not hesitate to block me. But for now, that is the word of the Lord that if Nigeria is not careful, in 2027, Tinibu will still come into power. And if we're not still careful, the APC will continue more and more and more in the place of unity. We need to be together. Thank you, mighty Father. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In 2024, I begin to see some cracks from the space falling down. We're going to have an experience in 2024. I saw something falling down from the sky and it's going to erupt a lot of stuff on earth where people will also go for it. So I don't know what that is, but I saw some stuff falling down from the top. The Lord said, this is my sign. It is a sign from God that the end time is getting close. A stone fell from up and fell on the ground and caused a lot of destruction. That's what the Lord is talking about in that part. So in the next part, the world is about to experience the dryness of a sea. I don't know how it's going to happen. It looks like a magic or whatever it is. But I saw the sea drying up, giving it a long distance. The Lord said, this is a sign. This is a sign. This is a sign. This is a sign. And this is a sign. Thank you, mighty Father. We we'll give you praise or magnify your name. To you alone is highly exalted. To you alone is highly praised. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let us also talk about the people of Sierra Leone. And the Lord said, the nation of Sierra Leone will suffer. Will suffer. And I saw families. I saw family trying to commit suicide and I saw few suicides taking place in Sierra Leone because of the hardship and I begin to see Sierra Leone hardship I'm going to see Sierra Leone in hardship I saw people committing suicide in Sierra Leone because of the hardship because of food because of no water because of no job because of nothing I begin to see people depressed in Sierra Leone. So I begin to see suicide, suicide, suicide in the nation of Sierra Leone. I begin to see suicide in the nation of Sierra Leone. The Lord said, let's pray for preservation. And let us also pray for the people in Liberia. Let us also pray for the people in Liberia. Let's also pray for the people in Liberia. The people in Liberia. Let us pray about them because I'm seeing a massive attack against Liberia and I'm seeing an economy fall. The economy of Liberia is going to go down the same way worse than Sierra Leone 
because the hunger in these two nations is higher than you can ever imagine. Things are going to go high. Things are going to run up, skyrocket very high. And, and the Lord is showing me somebody called, Ch is it Chimanza or Chi? One of the youngest men in Zimbabwe that wanted to win as the president that the Lord said that Magwagwa would take back power from him. That is this young man who the people want. He's a very young man. That is the man that people want in Zimbabwe. The Lord said, let us pray. The Lord is saying that they have the information. I saw homicide. I saw when they killed this man in Zimbabwe. And the Lord said, tell them that if they kill him, that there will be a revolution that will stay forever. If they kill, his name is from CHI, Chi Manza, I don't know what to call him, in the nation of Zimbabwe. The Lord said, if they kill him, the Lord said, if they kill him, the Lord said, if they kill him, the nation will run into disaster, for the nation will tumble against itself so they are making it look like a prophecy but they have plans to kill him so that he would never have any power to come back to contest as a president in Zimbabwe I don't know his name I don't know him personally but his name is Chi Chim if, if somebody can help me and post it online that's what the Lord is talking about, Zimbabwe. He's a dark man. He babs skin caught. He was part of the last election that by corruption he lost. Somebody say Cha Miza. Nelson Cha Miza. He's the man. Nelson Cha Miza have been plotted out to be killed in the nation all in the name of prophecy but the people would know that he didn't die a natural death he would be killed but if he gets killed Zimbabwe will have no nation for the nation will fight against its own so let us pray and advise the president that no one should use any prophet to manipulate people in the name of God the Lord is not happy about it I understand what I'm saying that's for the nation and let us also pray for our neighboring country what the call Cameroon Cameroon is about to shake for a while and the Lord showed me peace after the takeover of the certain governments that will come into power in a short period of time. The Lord said, no matter how the security will be, we will see the hand of God. That's what the Lord is saying. And I began to see something like South Sudan or Sudan itself, but I, but I think it's South Sudan for a while there would not be a president in that nation. I saw the seat empty in the place of South Sudan. So I'm thinking, is it Sudan or South Sudan or whatever they call it? There will be no president. That is what the Lord is saying in that South Sudan. There will be no president on the seat for a while because of the riots, because of the fights, and because of the social unrest. That is what is going on in the nation. That's what the Lord is saying. And I saw new building in the city of Cameroon. I saw very big fashions, very great passion, fashions, houses. I saw rebuilding of Cameroon. I saw rebuilding of Cameroon. Thank you, Father. I saw great things in Cameroon that is happening, but the Lord is saying it is after the fights. Are you understanding what I'm saying? And the people of Cameroon, the Lord said, prepare your mind because when it will start, you will ask the Lord when it will end because it's not going to be easy. 
Are you understanding what I'm saying? So let us pray. What will cause European nations to go out of power? You know, I've said it before that one of the European nations will have a blackout, which they did a few weeks ago, and more nations in the European nation will go blackout because there won't be power supply in the nation. I don't know what will happen. I don't know how it will happen, but I see them begin to change their source of power. And the Lord is talking something about Mubad, the Nigerian artists that have died. And people want to really find out the truth about the spirit of who killed Mubad. The Lord is saying the publication will not get anybody to be arrested and to be jailed. Do you know why? The Lord said we only move by emotion in the nations of Nigeria. But in the same vision, and I saw the spirit of Mubad, Mubad was standing in the air. And while he was standing, up there he was shouting and he was shouting crying for the mercy of God he wasn't doing anything he was shouting for the change for the change of the industry in the nation and the Lord used through the same Mubad challenges to begin to unveil the case has not died no the revival is coming and I began to see so many challenges, so many things being exposed in the Nigeria music industry. We begin to see how men will be that have been sleeping with their fellow men in the Nigeria industry. We will begin to see seeing the exposure of married women sleeping with their fellow women in the place of gay in the Nigeria industry, in the movie industry, in the in the entertainment industry, everywhere. Music industry, we're gonna watch all these things happen. It's gonna be unveiled. That's what the Lord is talking about. And I saw the spirit of Mubad rounding everywhere. There's gonna be a judge in the industry there's going to be a lot of judgment there is going to be a strange death in the Nigeria music industry and the Lord said this is the spirit of judgment that is coming for an innocent blood for I will venge it that's what the Lord said vengeance belongs to him and vengeance will he stand and I saw the spirit of Mubad and he was moving around and he was moving around he was moving around but the Lord is saying if it's for the justice justice will not be served the reason justice cannot be served is because of our emotion we are more emotional than facing the fact but the Lord is saying I will send the judgment and his spirit will roam in the industry for a while before it will become so we will experience a lot of people in the industry that you never expected to die they will go home are you understanding what i'm saying you will see people that are good that are very healthy they will die you'll see people that are very strong that are very rich they will die that's what the lord is talking about so let us keep let us keep praying for the mercy of God in the industry. That's what the Lord is saying. But for your physical justice, you won't get. But I, the Lord, will cause the strange confession, the judgment, and He will nail whoever He chooses to nail. That's what we should pray about. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, mighty Father. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. A lot of people are saying Tinibu will have some what we'll call um, um, overtaking of the government in Nigeria. The Lord said, no, the prophets are right. That's people will want to take it from Tinebo. But the Lord said, no, it's a misconception and the vision they never understood. The Lord is showing them something they never waited to see at the end. Because at the end, I am seeing the American military coming together in Nigeria 
for security terms. So in the next six months, Nigeria will be the most secured nation. We will have peace of mind. I saw the United States Americans, I saw Americans in this country, the military men in this country, they are part of the securities trying to catch a lot of bad people. So they will be part of the nation, security, not any overthrow. Nothing like that will happen in this nation. Not because it cannot happen, but because God cannot permit it to happen. That's what the Lord is talking about. So this is the October. And in the month of November in 2023, I'm seeing a vision of fear into the body of Christ. I see a slander, a lot of slanders in the body of Christ. I see a lot of shakings in the body of Christ. Thank you, mighty Father, in the name of Jesus. And I saw a great man of God. I will call his name because some people said I never called Mobad's name. I'm going to call this one name, but they will fail. They would never get him. I don't know. There are some few people who have taken it upon themselves in the ministry of God that are so wicked, uh, very, very wicked. And the Lord showed me few men of God who came together to plan an attack on Apostle Selman. Why would they want him dead? Why would they want to kill him? What has he done? And the Lord said, let us pray for him. Let us pray for Apostle Selman. The Lord is saying, few pastors have come together to plan against Apostle Selman. I don't know the reason why they want to kill him. I don't know the reason why they want to attack him. But the Lord said they will fail. That's what the Lord said. The Lord said they will fail woefully that nothing will happen to him. I saw these are great men of God who doesn't believe his ministry anymore, but they have been with him before he came to this stardom. But the Lord is saying that we should pray for Apostle Selman. They will not succeed. They will only make an attempt, but the Lord will protect his own. Thank you, mighty Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, in the name. And I saw Nathaniel Bassi, and a new realm and a new level is coming upon him. And in the host of heaven, when I saw him in a vision, and I saw him in a vision, and I saw people, but these people that I saw were not normal people. These people were giants. These people were tall. And he was blowing his trumpet. And on earth, I began to see broken bones begin to come back to life. We're hearing the bones noise. They were coming back to life. And he was blowing the trumpet. And he blew trumpet on people's faces, people's ears in the vision. And I saw dead people rising. And I asked the Lord, what is this? He said, he is using the music ministry to cause healing in the kingdom of God. That's what I saw consigning him. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. There is a certain man of God that is young, fair in complexion. He's very light. They, they call him uh, Akburu. I cannot pronounce his name very well. Uh, and, and, and in a vision, and I saw some certain clique of people who claim to be men of God and they invited him while they set up another gang to gather him and to beat him not to kill him but I saw them, for them they just gave these people these people, these woodlums say beat him they, they, to attack him so we should pray for Michael is it Michael Oropo can pronounce that name very well and, and the Lord said there is a certain young man of God who doesn't like him that wants to see him being beaten not killing but being beaten the Lord said the enmity in the body of Christ is high are you understand what I'm saying the evil deeds in this nation is high okay Michael Arupo 
the Lord said the wickedness in the body of Christ in Africa is high. That's what the Lord is talking about. Thank you, mighty Father. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you, Father. The wickedness of men, the wickedness in this ministry, in this thing called ministry, is so much. A wickedness, the wickedness in ministry is higher than the wickedness in the world. That's what the Lord is saying. He said the wickedness in the ministry is higher than the wickedness in the world. And the Lord said, tell him to be careful and to discern his invitation so that he doesn't be a victim. That's what the Lord is saying. And I saw a pot. And I saw a pot. They put up this pot and they dish food for everybody. And a little bottle, something came out to drop. I know the specific man of God, but I'm not going to call his name because I respect him. I don't know what is happening. The wickedness is too much. The condemnation is too much. The judgment is too much. The insult is too much. The self-righteousness is too much. The too much of the holy people, it is too much. And I saw the poison these men of God, these well-known men of God, and he died the moment they got to the hospital. Who could be this man of God? I cannot tell you. I cannot tell you. I cannot tell you. Because this man also have his own problem of pride. So if I say it, there will be a problem. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So I will not say who is this man of God, but I saw this man of God being poisoned in this nation. Why? Hatred. Why? 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 This man of God's stomach was big and he was poisoned. The wickedness of this nation, Nigeria, the wickedness of the people who are calling God every day and night, it is too much. Full of condemnation, full of judgment, full of hypocrisy, full of pretense, full of perfection that is fake. The wickedness in the kingdom of God, in the body of Christ, it is too much. We are becoming so wicked, not them. We, you and I, you listening to me, some of you want me to fall. Some of other people want me to fall. Some people want to bring me down. Some people want to bring other men of God down. The wickedness in this Christianity is wicked. It is wicked. Why would you want to poison a man of God? Because this poison is not going to be only in Nigeria. I saw it in South Africa. I saw it in Ghana. I saw it in Sierra Leone. I saw it in different places. And the Lord is taking this time. Let me let you know something. I don't know, but I'm going to say it. Mrs. Deborah, the daughter of Paul and Neche. I don't know where she's going to go for a program in Africa. Precisely, maybe Africa, but I know it's going to be in Nigeria. So she went to a program and people began to stone her. People began to woo her. People began to mock her physically. And the Lord showed me this vision and, and that thing caused her depression that she have to leave the nation. I don't know when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen, but I don't know where she went to, but she went somewhere. The people should celebrate her, but I saw people wooing her. I saw people mocking that young lady that is beautiful for Christ. Physically, they were abusing her and she couldn't take it anymore. She nearly fell and they held her and they put her back in the car and they drove off. Why the wickedness? That's the vision the Lord showed me. 
That is the vision the Lord showed me. The wickedness. The wickedness. The wickedness. The wickedness. The wickedness. The wickedness of the nation is increasing day by day. Nigerians youths, change your hypocrisy. Change your mentality and change your mindset. Your talk, your hatred is getting to another level. Let love lead us one by one. Your hatred cannot make you better. It will only sink you. I saw the lady, she came down. And they began to mock her. They began, they began to abuse her. They began to call her nose. Some people trying to stone her. And she ran back to the car. And she left the place. I don't know when it's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know if it's the will of God for it to happen. Now or tomorrow. That's what the Lord is talking about. But the hatred of Nigerians is what is allowing God to keep Tinibu. You cannot do your will and expect God to do yours. As much as you want to do your will, God will watch you. Thank you, mighty Father. We give you praise. We will pray for the youth in this month of October. We come against the massive death of our nation, Nigeria. We come against the death of youth. From now till December, we come against death. In the name of Jesus. We come against death. We come against death. We come against death. No youth of ours will die in the name of Jesus. No youth of ours will die. We rebuke death in the name of Jesus. We well, thank you, Father. We well, thank you, Father. We we'll give you praise. Thank you, Father. Well, thank you, Father. Well, thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. In Nigeria, in 2024, there is going to be more job opportunities for the youth. That's what the Lord is saying. There's going to be a lot of job opportunity for the youth job opportunities i saw job opportunities 2024 job opportunities in 2024 in the nation of nigeria i saw 2024 2024 i saw job opportunities job opportunities job opportunities in 2024 the lord said let them go to school the lord said let them graduate the lord said these are jobs that have to do with education in the name of jesus thank you mighty father thank you lord for all you have done thank you lord for all you have done in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. 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 
let us pray for the church of Omega Fire Ministry, our Father in Faith, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Let us pray for him because I saw one of his pastors betraying him. I saw one of his pastors putting him to shame. I will not explain what I saw. It's not necessary, but I saw one of his pastors deliberately put him into shame. I don't know why, I don't know when, I don't know what is his motive, but I saw one of his pastors putting him into shame. Why would he do that? Did they pay him? Was he paid? I don't know. But let us pray for that man because I still see him as a father of Nigeria <clears throat> when a certain man of God will go home he will be a father because the Lord is saying he will no longer be a jumping pastor he will no longer be a walking pastor that a time has come that he will just sit or he will stand at the altar without moving around and I saw him commanding things and things began to happen in the nations and the Lord is still going to crown him a father of Nigeria but the Lord said who is this pastor that wants to bring him out of his closet to shame him may God never let it happen in the name of Jesus Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And let us pray. <clears throat> let us pray for the government of Abia State, the Labour Party governor. Let us pray for him. Because I saw an attack against that man online, physically, everywhere he goes to. They began to criticize his government. They began to condemn him. They began to judge him. They began to put so many things. They began to cause a lot of crime. Because I said it before that Abia State will change when Labour Party comes into power. And they have come into power. So the Lord is doing a marvelous thing in Abia State. I saw a lot of changes. I saw a lot of companies coming from America, but his own people, who are his own people? The people who are from Abia State, the people who are from Enugu State, the people who are also from Imo State, the people who are from Abakalike, everybody would be against that man. They would not want to look what he has done. They would want to attack him to bring him down. But the Lord said he has come to change the nation. And the Lord said, after his eight years, the Lord said, I have a place for him in the Federation of Nigeria. That's what the Lord is saying. Thank you, Father. We'll give you praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done in the state of Abia State. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. We'll give you praise. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And amen. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. I want to say I appreciate you. And glory to God for all he has done. I know it's quite late and all that. So I am in the part of the prophecies for 2024 and 2020 to 2026. I've been thinking to put it on Amazon. Yeah, but I don't think it's necessary until God permits. So the 2024, 2025, and 2026 prophecies will be loaded soon in Amazon. So it's just the strength to keep writing them as the Lord has shown me and from what I saw. So thank you so much. I want to say God bless you. Thank you. God is going to put you all in a place of, of in a place where you will never believe what will happen to you. But 
God will do it in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing some people the Lord is even blessing. There are a few names I'm seeing that have commented here before uh, that the Lord is blessing. Somebody is listening to me. You have commented before. Your name is Richard. Your name is Richard. Okay, he has commented again. Richard Harry. Richard Harry. I don't know where you are right now, but you are sitting down. And then and as you were sitting down, this thing looks like black trouser you were wearing. And the top, something like white, is related to it, either inside or outside. But there is something the Lord is showing me about you, Richard Harry. The Lord is showing me a crown that the enemy took away from your head and kept it on the ground. The Lord said, until you have more humility, until you bow, then he will be able to pick it up and wear you back. Richard Harry, the Lord said, I have the greatness in you, but he will manifest himself to you when you humble yourself unto him. That's what the Lord is talking about. So this person I'm seeing here, they call you Benti Jumpy. That's not your real name. But the Lord is telling me, let me tell you, be careful because I'm seeing that's something that have to do with introduction to introduction that might look like a ritual attempt to your life. I don't know who are your friends, but you better be careful, Betty. That's what the Lord is saying. The Lord is saying from introduction to introduction that looks like a ritual is killing. So you have to be careful of your life this year. I understand what I'm saying. That's what God is talking about. Glory to God and glory to His name in the name of Jesus. There is somebody listening to me. Your name is Gloria Agban and, and you have not commented. You were just watching and said, who is this man? The Lord said, I shall tell you, Gloria, that he has placed you above that lecturer that is saying that you will not go forward in that school. He said, it's happening already. Okay, Betty Jump, he said, it's happening already. Well, what is happening already? What did I say that is happening? Okay, so you have to be careful. Thank you, mighty Father. And this person that you also hear, your name is Kemvio. Kevas, I'm just seeing you right now. You have to be careful of accident. I don't know if you're driving a car, but you have to be very careful because the Lord have a greatness for you in 2024. In the first season of 2024, I'm seeing greatness coming to you. They say Jumpy is a real name. In 2024, the Lord have a blessing for you. But pray against that accident. That would, that would want to cut your life. He said, I'm seeing it in dreams. Ritual is killing. So be careful for anything that has to do with rituals because you have been pointed out to be killed for ritual. That's what the Lord is saying. So pray very well. This person called in Kechi Ojuku. The Lord is showing me a place. And, and this place, it looks like you were with a man. I don't know currently if you're married, but it looks like you were with a man. And this man jumped out of you. And other men started coming to ask you for marriage or for relationship or you got tired. So I don't know if, 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 if this man is your husband or just in a relationship. Because I saw other people coming to approach you when this man walked away. So if you were married... We come against divorce in the name of Jesus. But if it's the will of God for this man to stay, to marry you, let it happen that for him living your life in the name of Jesus. There are men in that room, but you are with a man currently and you are standing. And all of a sudden this man walked out and other men started coming. And the Lord is saying, the devil you know, is better than the angels you don't know. Tolerate the one you're with. Tolerate him. Be there. Because the future will be bright for him. So don't look into that part where you are seeing a lot of distracted men who are coming to you. Maybe they are coming to have sex. You might not know. So stay with the one. Stay with the one you have and stay the one with the one you know. 
Thank you, mighty Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. And someone called Jackie Sekopa. Jackie Sekopa, the Lord said, I should tell you, money is coming. Jackie, money is coming. I don't know how it's going to come, but I saw envelope being written your name. Betty in the name of Jesus. So we have to pray 